Uh, Claire, you received EU funding for your company Axonista uh, and its flagship product Ediflow in 2017. And uh, can you talk a bit about uh, Ediflow and uh, what is uh, interactive video commerce? Lovely to meet you, Johanna. <laughs> and this is a great event. I'm very happy to be here. Um, so, yes, we received funding in 2017 and it was to make a product out of our services. So, uh, for interactive video. So, we have, we're just about to release the first um, big version of the product this weekend in Amsterdam at IBC, which is a big conference. So, we're very excited about that. Um, and it's about all sorts of um, ways of engaging your audience on um, video. So, if you are a, a company or a brand that wants to release some kind of video product um, in the market, we do the distribution for that. So you can play it on all different types of devices and we make it interactive so that you can add things like commerce to it. So if you're selling you know, some clothes in the video that you can actually put a overlay of a buy button on top and you know, make a sale from within the video, which is really cool. Um, and we can do all sorts of things like that that are around interactive storytelling. Yes. So we're, we're happy to uh, promote this product now that we have um, built it to the, the stage that it's at. So, And um, so what's the advantage of getting public funding for a small company like yours that is in innovation? Um, you received the SME Instrument grant from the EIC. How did that fit in your growth path? It was extremely important in our growth plan because, uh, as I said, we came from a background where we, we were very successful and innovative um, company that was about projects and services that were in this, this um, area of video, but we had not made a product, but we knew we could make one and scale the company that way. However, the journey from getting to be a services company to being a product company is a very, uh, it's a different change, even philosophy wise, it's a change. And we had to bring everybody with us and you know change the, the metrics of the company so that we could turn into a SaaS um, product model with MRR and all these different things. So actually pointing the team in that direction and building the product to uh, a way that we could experiment with different companies and see if it was the right product to bring to market was perfect for us before we get to the stage where we bring that to international investors and build it even further. Thank you. Um, and as a member of the jury for the EIC, what do you think about the other companies uh, that you chose actually? Well, I was very, very delighted that we met some of them here at this event, which is so good to see them in an environment that it's relaxed and they're not pitching. Um, and, you know, there were so super, super companies um, that we got to see. Um, I participated in the panel in February. I also got to meet all my jury members again here to catch up with them. So that's that's been a wonderful network for me to have personally, um, to experience both sides of the table in this way and, you know, really see uh, very innovative companies um, from all sorts of different um, industries and sectors that I don't have expertise in, but I, you know, it's always it's the same problems and the same issues that come up, you know, in the business. So very, very good to see the commonalities that everyone struggles with as well. Um, but it's, I mean, it's a super program and it's a really great, uh, environment in which to take your business to the next level. Thank you. Um, so Claire was the image business woman of the year in 2017. Claire, how can we get more women in tech and more women entrepreneurs in general? Very interesting question. Very good. Uh, we had we had a fabulous um, conversation yesterday with a lot of different female entrepreneurs and investors and people from Europe. That, um, all women, all very talented, with lots of different backgrounds. Yes, yesterday, and it went on for a long time. <laughs> um, but there are some core things that we all agree on. And, you know, um, some of my friends here, some of the people from my jury members, um, are uh, building something called Rising Tide Europe, which is to encourage female investors um, in Europe, which is a fantastic move. And I was delighted to see them present that here yesterday. Um, but also, you know, it's about education. It's about education and it's about confidence. So it's building those skills in young women at a very early age. So from when they're in the classroom to get them to be confident. When I look back at my life, I did, for me, confidence wasn't that hard because I did a lot of um, theater and I did uh, music and I was always like forced to be on a stage when I was young, but I think that's missing from a lot of people's lives. So building that confidence is the, f is the key thing at an early age to get more female entrepreneurs in the circuit because the talent is there. And what's your highlight about this event? 
Berlin is a wonderful city. So my highlight so far has been also getting to know Berlin and the sunshine has been really great. I think the main thing is the people, the quality of the people who are here across so many different um, so many different types of backgrounds, but all trying to build a better Europe and all trying to, um, you know, collaborate in a way. It's a very, it's a very unique collection of people that I, you don't come across at many conferences, certainly not that any of I have been at. Um, so it's wonderful to meet investors, to meet entrepreneurs, to meet lots and lots of different people. And the workshops are very, very good as well. So there's a lot that you can learn here. So it's a very good conference about learning and just being able to walk around and experience different things is really good. Um, but yes, the Rising Tide Europe presentation yesterday for me was fantastic. There was some very interesting um, facts about female entrepreneurship and people or women who were actually in the community that were funding startups and all the different things that they had in common were, were really, really interesting and intriguing to, to hear such as having lived abroad for a year or more in a different country. That was a thing that was a big surprise to me. Okay, thanks very much. We truly hope that these uh, discussions will continue on the EIC community platform. Uh, thank you, Claire, for talking to us. Thank, thank you. you.